So here I'm going to show you how to serge a neckband on to the basic t-shirt. I already sewed my sh uh, shoulders together here and I have my back and front notches clipped. Here's my neckband. So I'll meet these two short ends together, uh, right sides of fabric together, and serge that closed. Just like that. And then at the opposite end, I'm going to clip a notch to mark the center of the neckband. So that's usually how I start, is with the front and the back points. But if you would like to make things a little easier in the beginning, you can also do two more points right at the side. So to do that, just match the notch on the front with the back seam to find that center, and then clip a notch there. On, on both sides. And to find that side placement on your shirt neck, just match your front and back center notches. Pull over to the side until you get that side point. And you'll see that it's not on the shoulder. Mark it with a notch. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this neckband in half so the seam will be folded onto itself here. And I'm going to pin it in place, so I'm going to mat this back seam of the neckband to the center back of the shirt. And I'm placing the neckband on the right side of the shirt fabric. And then I'll match the center of the neckband to the front of the t-shirt neck. Do the same for both sides. So now you'll have your neckband pinned at four separate places. And to start, you're just going to stretch this, you're going to stretch the neckband to just like that. Or stretch it enough so that it's the same width. And then hold that in place. You got all three layers there and start surging. And do the same thing with the next one. Stretch the neckband to fit and make sure you're getting all three layers in the seam. And to end, you'll just overlap the beginning of the seam by about an inch. Just like that. So that's the inside. And then the outside. <laughs> 